Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Morgan Danielle. It's Morgan Danielle, and today for you guys, I'm going to be doing a hormone update. Um, I haven't done one in a very long time, I know. Um, I was gonna do one like every two or three months, um, but life, as we all know, gets in the way of everything, so I kinda didn't really have the time, the means, to really do it. I've been trying to like keep myself together, but that's for another video. Let's kinda stay on topic, and let's do a hormone update video. So as of today, as of the month of October, um, October 13th, I've been on hormones for eight months. So the last time I did a video, I did a three, four month hormone update, I believe. And then I also updated you on the first and second month. So I think what I'm going to do this time, I'm going to do the five and six month and the seventh and eighth, just to kind of catch you guys back up. Because I did not mean to not tell you guys and not show you guys, but I have been going through a lot. Anyone that has been following me on social media, um, you know. So there we go. So let's talk about the fifth month, which is the one that ended after the fourth. Um, I'm going to say that the fifth and the sixth month have been primarily boring um, as far as like transition related things. Like everything is a gradual process regardless in your transition. Like um, even if I've developed a little bit faster than maybe most people. Um, but the fifth and sixth month weren't really like anything... Um, they weren't really anything of any real noticeable difference. Like, I didn't really feel like anything really was changing. Like, people kind of said my face was getting kind of fatter, but I didn't really see that change that much. Like, it, for me, it wasn't drastic, but I look at myself in the mirror every day. So, I was kind of guessing, like, I didn't really know what was going on. I really felt like my boobs were growing a little bit here or there. Like, they were growing a little bit, but they weren't, like, significantly growing. They were just sort of growing. Um, and they're always kind of growing. So, that, that, was, that wasn't anything different. Um... So yeah, the fifth and sixth month were kind of boring. I didn't really find anything happening. So the seventh month, September, um, I feel like my hormones started to kind of regulate themselves um, in that like I wasn't really um, as hungry as I usually was. Um, I wasn't really as... Um, my emotions started to flare back up, actually. I will say that. Seventh month, my, my emotions started to flare up. Again, um, I started feeling things as intensely as I did at the beginning. Um... Like, I just was going through rough patches in life, I guess. And I think that that also kind of helped with the emotional instability that I experienced in the seventh month. But other than that, I didn't really experience really any change. It was in the eighth month that I started to notice, like, the subtle differences a little bit more. Which is why I really try to... I just skipped through the fifth, sixth, and seventh month because they were months that really were just so, sort of normal. I didn't really see anything changing up about me, really. I didn't really see anything. No one really said anything besides, like, your face is looking a little bit more rounded out versus, like, as strong as... Like, if you've been following my channel for a while, you know that when I first started, like, I had very strong bone structure, and now it's, like, it's not as intense as it once was. Like, you can still tell, like, my cheeks and stuff, but, like, at one point, they were, like, swooped, and then, like, they came down. Down a lot a lot more intense and so yeah um so the eighth month which is this current month has been a month where I have noticed things a little bit more like I don't know if you can tell but like my boobies are definitely a little bit more like well developed than they once were like they have like a full-blown bounce jiggle they have um my boobies have like actual weight and gravity. Like they can jump up and they can jump down. Like they can, like I can push them up and down. Like I am a 34C at the moment, but right here in this area, my boob has not completely filled out. So it's like I'm pretty much gonna be a 34C, I'm pretty sure. Um, and I'm not sure if I think, in my opinion, I think I'm a 34C just because I have a little bit of a, a larger like chest. Not because like the actual boob is like a full blown big 34C. But I think once it grows in a little bit more, it'll fill it in more, and then I'll just stick with this bra size. I don't think I will be getting anything bigger. I don't think I will be going into the Ds. I, I'm 100% I'm certain I'm not going to go into the double D area. And just by the judging of other women, it does look like an actual boob. It doesn't look anything weird. It does look like a 34C, but to me, it doesn't look like a 34C. But I never really knew of boobs or anything before anyway. So I can't really be the judge of that. Um, as far as my hair, my hair texture has changed a little bit. Um, I had to start using a different product. And I found my curl pattern had kind of loosened up with the usage of hormones. As well as my skin has gotten a couple tints lighter. Not intense to the point where you can tell. But I can tell. Because I've... I've changed um shades of the same product like i went from using a dark like a pretty dark shade that matched to a lighter one to a lighter one 
And so it is starting to change a little bit, but I, at first I figured it was just I was using the wrong foundation, but actually judging from those old photos to now, my foundation matched in that photo, in the photos I took on that one, and it also matched in this one. And so, yeah, I've been kind of just sticking with that. Um, my arms used to be very, very strong. Like, I used to have a lot of muscle in my arm and a lot of veins, and I don't really see that as much now. Like, it's more of just, like, a regular, like, it's a feminine arm. Like, and that sounds really weird, the feminine arm. But it doesn't really have a lot of muscle to it anymore. It's not very toned and defined. It's more of, like, you can tell that there's, like, fat in it. And I can't really see my veins as much as I once used to be able to see of them. Like, I used to be able to see them very well, but now I don't really see them at all. Um, as we all know, my face has gotten a little bit chunkier. Um, it's definitely picking up fat in this area a little bit more. I, I don't think in this area is really getting any, like, thicker. It's just, like, the same. But it's been really getting, like, chunky in this, like, general T-zone area. Um, and my face has kind of been rounding itself out. Uh, my boobies, I've, as I said, have grown. My hips have started to kind of dive in a little bit. Well, not, like, dive in, but, like, my butt has kind of gotten a little thicker, and my hips have gotten a little bit, like, mm, like, they've been, like, a little bit like different um i haven't really gained as much weight as most people do on um hormones like i feel like people will be like oh i gained so much weight and da -da 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 -da. i have not had that experience like i just have not gained a lot of weight taking hormones if anything i've i've stayed about the same i was 135 when i started i was 136 the last time i went and i really think and me and my doctor hypothesized that it was just because of these so I really haven't really gained that much weight at all since being on hormones. I've kind of stayed in the same range, even when my appetite was like through the roof. And honestly, sometimes being on hormones, especially in this eighth month, have felt like a pregnancy. I will not lie to you. I get cravings. I get emotional. I get very um, moody. I feel like I'm always tired. I'm always like groggy. I'm fatigued. I'm always feeling like I'm doing way too much. I get overwhelmed so fast. But I must say that this eighth month has really lit a fire under me um, because this has been the the one of the roughest months of my hormones. I will say the first month and this month have been tied for like amount of shit I've been able to take. Um, they really boggled me down. Um, whereas the other months have been very boring and very uneventful and very like eh. As far as passing, um, I feel like I am passing a little bit better than I originally was. Like, back when I first, first, before I even transitioned, I was clockable. Like, I was super clockable. Like, I mean, anybody walking down the street could easily, you know, clock my T. Um, I feel like now, like, it's, it's more so of like a, is that a guy or a girl kind of thing. And then, some, and then in certain instances I pass and other instances I don't. Like it's kind of like a, a mixture of all three. It really depends on the day. It depends on the makeup. It depends on the hair. It depends on the outfit. It depends on the confidence that I have. Um, and it depends on my voice. I've been trying to work on my voice a little bit more, but it's not easy. Um, so yeah, it really just all depends. I don't feel like there will ever be a time in my life where I will be unclockable. I just don't think that that's the case. But I don't feel like me being like clockable means that I'm not a, a cute girl. That doesn't mean that I'm not attractive. That doesn't mean that people don't find me attractive. It just means that you can tell that I was trans. So I will definitely try and get back to you guys with a um, hormone update video for the ninth month. I'm gonna try and kind of keep it going till the year because I feel so bad for not giving you guys a hormone update video. But I will have to update you guys and make a separate video talking about why I've not been making and posting videos. So if you guys have any questions, leave them down in the comment section below. Um, I want to just thank you guys for sticking with me in my channel. And I will see you guys in my next video. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. If you want more update videos, if you want um, other trans-related content on my channel, if you also want to just follow my life, like just make sure you subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.